Come on. There you go. You're doing good. All right, boy. Hello, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton. I'm your humble narrator, and welcome to the Oregon Trail. A really classic game for DOS that I decided to come back to. I think it was also for the Apple, like, Mac 2 or some crazy shit like that. Um, but we're just gonna... We're gonna try it out. See how it goes. Uh, hopefully I can manage to not kill everybody, which would be really, really nice. There's an introduction here. Uh, there's a bunch of words and stuff that I could read, but I don't think I'm gonna do that. I'll just flip through it, and then you can pause the screen and read it yourself, if that is, uh, something that you think you'd enjoy. So there we go. Three pages of text. Done. Now we're ready to travel the trail. Welcome to Oregon Trail. You're about to begin a great adventure. It's stupid that I didn't read the last stuff and then I read this stuff, but whatever. There's a lot of reading in this game, so uh, we'll deal with that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, traveling the Oregon Trail across the rugged landscape of North America. That's where I live. Your covered wagon pulled by the team of oxen will travel from Independence, Missouri to the fertile Willamette Valley of the Oregon Territory, a journey of approximately 2,000 miles. Before you set off on the trail, register your name, the names of your wagon party, and your occupation. After that, you'll need to buy supplies and make other important decisions. Good luck! Thanks so much! And it wants my name, which is obviously Dayton. Uh, occupation's an interesting thing. Blacksmith will help you prevent, uh, breaking things. I think so will Carpenter. Doctor will keep your people healthy, which I'm probably gonna do. Farmers can keep oxen healthy, um... But people are more important because you can just buy new oxen. You can't replace the people. <laughs> it not that how it is in real life? Uh, farmer, merchant, saddle maker, teacher. I'm not sure what the extra bonuses for that are. There is a help button, but isn't it more fun if we just jump into it? So I'm going to name some, uh, some people. There's Psycho Whale, who's uh, definitely coming with us. I like that kid. Then we also have Nico the Legend from the uh, Scrub Pub now. They were called Father and Son, and now they are called the Scrub Pub. Sarah, a girl? Yep, that's Squeaky Smurf, all right. Smurfy, she's here too. And then we've also got uh, Jeremy from the Game Gallows. I was thinking about putting Waldar in there, but uh, that's all the space we have. So we will set off, and I think that that looks pretty good to me. Maybe, probably. Matt's General Store. Max, 20 oxen. Well, how much... How much are 20 oxen? $400? Holy shit! This money's, like, way more valuable than our current money. 400 bucks will buy you, like, uh, 10 cartons of cigarettes. <laughs> or something. Or oh, something! Uh, we need some clothes, so I'll get some of that. Maybe we don't need that many clothes. I mean, how many clothes are we gonna go through, honestly? Boxes of bullets? Oh yeah, that's important. I probably need a bunch of those. Spare wagon wheels? Mmm. I want two of these, and these, and these. That seems like a good idea to me. Food you can catch on the trail, so it's not exceedingly important. Um, but I wanna... Get our nice round number, 810, that seems, that seems nice to me. We can probably load a little, a little more in the clothes. And I do want to keep some money with me just so we can trade or whatever with the engines that we find out on the trail. Alright, thank you Matt, you've been quite kind. Uh, I will purchase all of these things. You need to decide when to set off on the trail. If you leave too early, there won't be much grass for your oxen to eat. You may encounter some very cold and cold weather and late spring storms. If you leave too late, you may not get to Oregon before winter, which can be very dangerous. If you leave at just the right time, there will be green grass and, for the most part, mild weather. Um, hmm. I think March is too early. June, April, July seems probably the best. April or May? Hmm. We'll do April, because then we can get May, and I know May is going to have some, uh, some nice stuff to it. You know, May flowers or whatever. We might see the April showers, though. Oh, no! You started down the trail with 20 oxen, 25 sets of clothing, 1,000 bullets. 1,000 bullets? Wow, that was more than I thought. Uh, rations? Well, we should probably set all this stuff up. We gotta do some filling rations. Yes. Talk, rest, pace, hunt. Can we hunt in town? 
Hunting is not allowed near Independence, Missouri because there are too many people around. Well, fine. Let's, um... We should probably do a strenuous pace. I really don't want to get stuck in the snowstorm. Let's try to talk to somebody. Better take extra sets of clothes. Trade them to Indians for fresh vegetables, fish, or meat. It's well worth hiring an Indian guide at river crossings. Expect to pay them. The shop traces. Not easily cheated. Well, that's, uh, that's quite true. You give them beads, they give you a few acres of land. Not easily cheated. That's right. Let's trade. Uh... No, I don't actually want to trade. I just wanted to see what the button does. Ha 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 ha! Let's just, uh, let's set out. We'll continue. Da 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 A thief stole 16 oxen from your wagon. Great. So now we have, like, no fucking oxen. That is absolutely wonderful. I reached the Kansas River Crossing. Hmm. How about guide? Kansas River is a tributary to Missouri, approximately 170 miles long. Its width and depth vary depending on the amount of recent rain or snow melt. Where the Oregon Trail crosses the Kansas River, the average width is 620 feet, and the usual depth in the middle is about 4 feet. But be sure to check the present conditions when you get there. Well, it's cloudy now. Um, can I, can I trade? Does anybody have some oxens? What do I want to get by trading? Well, 16 oxen. 16 oxen if it's possible. Anybody, anybody up for this? For $278. Mmm. Uh, I don't like it. Uh, I have uh, $290, so I could do it. But I won't. Let's, um, let's try and ford the river, I think. Ford the river, caulk the wagon, and float it, or take a ferry for $5. Yeah, I think the ferry is probably the safest option. We will do just that. And uh, that is the reason that I saved some money. Good plan, Dayton. Thank you, Dayton. That's so nice. All right. <laughs> well, I made it safely across the river. Thank you, ferry captain. Not like he's a, a ferry captain. limp wristed captain. <laughs> he might be. I don't know. I'm not going to judge that guy. And we've got the big blue river. Big blue river. I wonder how deep this is. Uh, 300 miles long. Doesn't say how deep it is. That's a shame. Anybody want to trade me? See what I can uh, do for 16 oxen? Not 166 oxen. That's crazy. Nobody here's got 16 oxen to spare. Well, then we shall continue on. Shall we not? Hmm. Four and a half feet deep. I think we should probably caulk the wagon and float it. Although the danger to that is it might tip over or something like that. So I'm not looking forward to it, um, but I think it's better than trying to ford it and uh, getting all my stuff wet. I got a lot of stuff, don't want to get it wet. So let's caulk it. Caulk it! Come on, there you go. You're doing good. Alright boy. I think we made it. Hooray! We did the right thing, friends. Made it safely across the river. Wonderful. Should we rest for a little while? Anybody want to rest? How long do you want to rest? Two days. That's not too long, right? I don't think so. Maybe we can hunt, too. Yeah! Yeah! Bunch of squirrels. Oh, yeah. Okay. I want the deer. Mm-hmm. That's good meat. It's like 50 pounds of meat right there. Pa pow Oh, I led that shot way too hard. Pa-pow! Buffalo! Buffalo! Kill them all! Yeah, just go for the big, big animals. Hopefully I can sell some of this meat. I'd hate for it all to go to waste. Um... I should probably end hunting relatively soon. Click them! Click them good! There we go! See, this is why the buffalo went extinct. They're just too big and stupid. Alright. We're done now. I, uh, shot 1,694 pounds of food and used 19 bullets, but I could only carry 200 pounds back. So it's probably not a good idea to massacre all those fucking buffalo. <gasps> Whoops! Uh, I was hoping I could sell something, but... Oh well. It be what it be. We had a little rest. Everybody's looking good, I think. I don't know how far we've traveled so far. Oh, there it is, 304 miles. 
So we're making a pretty good time, I guess. I'll try and trade and get those oxen that I lost. For 25 sets of clothing. I have 25 sets of clothing. No, can I get less oxen? Let's let's do like eight. Nobody's got eight oxen to spare. Are you kidding me? Some guy just had 16. I would give him half of my clothes. God damn it. That is quite frustrating. Okay, little child. I'm sorry. What does it say about this? A US Army post. Mm-hmm. Named after Stephen Watts Kearney, often spelled Kearney. That's quite interesting. Fort Laramie? Fort Walla Walla? Fur trade? What are you talking about? I guess this is all stuff that I'm going to encounter at some point. Whatever. We're gonna keep it on going. Uh-oh, Squeaky Smurf has cholera. We better rest up just a little bit so she doesn't, uh, she doesn't drop dead. Well, we'll give you, we'll give you four days. We'll rest up just a little bit. Pace is strenuous. I should maybe slow down a little bit, but maybe not until I get to the halfway point. I think that's a good strategy. It's been a long time since I played Oregon Trails, if you want me to be completely honest. Um, probably, yeah. A good 10 or 12 years since I booted this thing up the last time. Probably more than that, actually. Ah, it just goes so fast. Where does the time go? Smurf is well again. Yay! I saved her life. You're so welcome. And we got a, a chimney rock. Look at that rock. It looks like a phallus. Or a chimney, if you're not dirty-minded. See, people back in the wagon days, they wasn't as dirty-minded as people these days. Tell you what. Tell me about some chimney rock. It's a spectacular natural formation of solid rock and can be seen for miles around. In fact, you can see it for a whole day as you approach it, and for another whole day as you leave it behind. If you don't see it at all within a week or so after leaving Fort Kearney, you've probably strayed too far off the trail. Anybody here to trade? I want eight oxen. I've uh, lowered my... Oh yeah, 14 sets of clothes. Okay. That'll do, I guess, for now. Whatever. Continue on. Is my food running low? Not quite yet. 280 pounds. I will stop to hunt because I think that's uh, about half of what I had before. But I won't murder everything this time. Probably because I'm just going to keep missing. Die, squirrel, die! <laughs> I miss the squirrel. Mer. Dude, those deers, what the fuck? Just juking me out. Juking me out, bro. Oh, look at that. That's a big one. We got a big one. Okay. That's probably good. I'm out of here. Yeah, 349 pounds of food, but could only carry 200 back. So, I guess you should not go over 200 pounds. Is that the case? Is this what I am to understand? Uh, Whale is suffering from exhaustion. Okay, so we gotta take a little break after we pass through Fort Laramie. And I do like learning. Originally called Fort William, it was established as a fur trading post in 1834. It was renamed for Jacques, Jacques Laramie, a French trapper who worked in the region earlier in the century. Fort Laramie is an important stop for resting and getting supplies along the trail. Well, let's see if somebody will take my money. Can I get sets of clothing? I traded 14 of them, so maybe I could get some more? Oh my god. Oh my god. No. Maybe seven sets of clothing. <laughs> We're just uh, cutting it down a little bit. Nobody's got seven sets to spare. Alright. I get the fuck out of here. Oh, but we have to rest. We have to rest for just a little while. I don't want Whale to die. I don't want anybody to die, to be completely honest, but... The days are ticking by. Probably four days is a little too long to rest. I'm not completely sure about that. Anyways, we are going to uh, hit the trail again, but we will do so in the next episode, friends. I do hope that you will join me for it. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Oregon Trails. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. If you do remember to like, comment, and or subscribe, I will send you a Coca-Cola, but only do so if you did enjoy the content in the episode. And also if you enjoy Coca-Cola. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you in the next one, friends. Thanks so much for watching. And until then, bye bye One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye,
see you again Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends